I believe that is everything, guys. We are getting ready to do the maiden voyage on the old green machine here. Just got home from work. I've got the registration stickers on it. She's hooked up, locked down. We're loaded up and ready to go. I wanna try an evening bike today. It's 3.15 in the afternoon, so I'm gonna try my best to stay till dark and see if we can get on some fish. I can't wait to try this boat out. I got the 360 drive loaded up in the back of the truck. Got some rods, reels. We need to get some fish on the board today too because I've been a part of a tournament all month and I've only got one fish registered in for the tournament. I've only did one because the first day I went fishing, it was horrible weather. I caught one bass that day. And then the next day I traded my, I, I got this new boat and I've spent the last week swapping everything over. So I really got to get some fish on the board. I can't, I hate that I had to swap boats right in the middle of this tournament, but it is what it is. Let's go see if we can find some today. See you guys on the water. All right, guys, we have made it. We are on the water. I've actually been on here for a few minutes now playing with this 360 and it is sick. So you see the little dial here in the floor. When I turn this knob beside me here, I can actually spin that dial in the floor and aim it whichever way I wanna go. So if we wanna go directly left, when I pedal, the whole kayak just shifts to the left. <laughs> It's very cool. I like it a lot. And it seems a lot smoother than the Mirage Drive that I'm used to. So that's pretty cool. We're actually on the water a little bit early. It's four o'clock right now. I want to make a good run and fish my way back. We're at a uh, little spot called Lake Shore Landing. It's on Neely Henry right above the dam in Ohatchee, Alabama. And it's nice and peaceful out here. I think anybody who fished today early probably took out right before I got here. So hopefully we can get out here and find them this evening right before the sun start to, to drop. But I'm gonna quit using that now. We're gonna switch over to the trusty XI-3. Let's go see if we can find some fish. Finally, it is 5.30. Let me get us off this dock. 5.30 and we finally got us one we can put on the board. All right, 
buddy. You're gonna do me, do me good here. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. All right, there's our first one for today. Let's have some fun. Let's run this bank. Fish a little top water action. <laughs> Got a little guy right here at the boat. Look at that. Oh, catch and release. Well, first top water bite of the year. A little bitty guy. He actually scared me. I was fixing to pick the, the lure up out of the water. It's a good sign though. All right, y'all, we are back in the shop. I kind of wanted to end this video here so I could recap the day and recap kind of my thoughts on this kayak, how it performed the very first day, anything that I want to change or add or take away. So as for the fishing, we only got to fish for about three and a half hours. As you've seen, it was just a quick trip after work. I really wanted to get this kayak on the water and try out that drive system. And I got to say, that 360 drive really, it, it's... It's amazing, it's a game changer. Even without the XI3, if I would have left the trolling motor at home, I would have been able to do some amazing fishing around piers and stuff just by using that drive system. So I absolutely loved it. One thing I need to do to this kayak that I forgot that I had done to the Hobie is add scupper plugs to these scupper holes. And if you're familiar with running a bow mount trolling motor on a kayak, what happens is, is when you run it on high, it blows the water under the boat and it will actually push water up the scupper holes. And what that what happened was, is every time I would turn that motor on high to get across the lake, I was blowing water and it was coming up the scupper holes that are up under my box here, which it didn't matter. The water would still run around and go out of the hole. But I, I forgot that I had plugged these holes on the banana boat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put scupper plugs in every scupper hole on this boat. One of you guys suggested a couple of weeks ago, and I'm gonna take that advice, that I should buy the ones that let water out but not in, and I can just leave them in. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get those ordered, but other than that, it fished really well, even though, as you've seen, we only got one fish on the board in the trip. Three and a half hours, one fish, I'll take it. I had one blow up on top water. That was my first one of the year. Uh, I did miss a few up under docks, but hey, a, a bad day on the water is 10 times better than a great day at work, I think. So I had a good time and I can't wait to take this out again. For those of you who are still watching, I do have a, a kind of an update on the video that's coming up next for you guys. You know, we're gonna be modding this boat out throughout the year, just like we do all my other kayaks. And the next mod I mentioned last week with you that I wanted to contact Marine Map and see about doing a full deck pad system for this boat like the gray and black one we did for the yellow banana boat. I called Marine Matt, talked to them, and they said they wanted to work with me again. I told them I wanted a custom design this time, and they did it for me. And it's actually here, it's in the shop. I got it behind you guys right now. So the next video I'm fixing to film, I'm gonna strip the boat back down, we're gonna clean it up, and I'm gonna show you guys how to install a full custom marine mat deck system you know deck mat system for your entire kayak you know they sell them for every kayak so if you don't have a pro angler this will still apply to you on the, just the install procedure how you go about cleaning the boat making the stuff stick you know you've seen the banana boat it's it's still it's been on there for a little over two years i believe and it looks like i just put it on yesterday it's absolutely great this stuff holds up really well it dampens the sound like if i you on these boats they're plastic so when you're moving your rod around or you slide your rod up and down the side 
it makes noise. So anything you can do to help dampen that noise while you're sitting on top of a, a pile of fish, you don't want to spook them away, that marine mount really helps. And it's also very comfortable if you want to fish barefooted during the hot days on the summer. It's really nice. It's, it's really great to have on your boat. And the, the customizations that they can do to that marine mat now is amazing. I can't wait to show you the actual design that I come up with. It looks great. It's going to look, it's going to change the whole look of this boat. So I can't wait to show it to you, but yeah, that's going to be the next video. I'm going to set up and film that within the next day or two. I'll probably start taking this stuff off of this one today, but yeah, then we're going to move on to working on the trailer. I do have an idea for a next big build for my channel. I am looking for a 14 foot enclosed trailer that I kind of want to convert into a kayak hauler slash camper almost like a toy hauler, but it's going to be different. It's not going to be, I don't want this big one. I want to be able to fit it in here. So I, I don't know if I'm going to have to build this or if I can find one out there. If you guys know of anything like that, let me know. I've got my eyes out. I'm looking if I can find one. I think I've got some really good ideas wrote down that I think it would be an amazing build for this channel. So yeah, that's the stuff coming up on this channel. If you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you want to support me, you can join the membership below the video. Click join, become a member of the Yak Squad. It's, we've got an awesome following here. I absolutely appreciate all of your guys' support. I've got merch that you can buy. Actually, I got a new design on a hat that, well, this is on a hat right now, but I don't know if they've released the hats on the website yet. I'll have to look, but I know the t-shirts with the new logo is there and they look amazing. I don't even have one yet. They just come out, I think yesterday on the website. So if you want to support me that way, you can go buy a Kayak USA t-shirt, check them out. The new design is absolutely sick. I absolutely love it. I can't wait to get some. And yeah, I appreciate you guys watching and I will catch you next Thursday at two o'clock. Peace.